what if there was a way to improve foam, preserve flavors, and even soften a Pilsner lager? Well, spunding can be the possible solution. And this was discussed with two world-renowned experts, and they suggested some very clever ways to accomplish this. Now, be sure to watch the entire clip and hear how the esters are affected. Now, this was part of a longer event discussing best practices and demystifying loggers as a whole. It was full of great tips, and I'll put a link right up here in the cards and in the description. So be sure you watch the entire video, and please consider giving this video a like. I believe that recently I was actually doing a lot of thinking around that actually, and it's to do with, with CO2, so carbon dioxide, and how that is actually these small bubbles, how they create it, and what has that to do with mouthfeel. I actually think that if you do spunding, so if you actually put pressure on your vessel or your tank, depending on, on, on which language you use, then you create a very small bubbles inside and why i'm saying that i think that's very important versus the this uh, you can say other methods where you actually inject uh, carbon dioxide into the beer just um, after maturation and i think there's something we should actually think about in the future is how do you actually create smaller bubbles and how do you actually create bubbles because bubbles and co2 in beer is so important so You've seen some of these, you can say, bottle conditioned beer where you actually have active yeast in the bottle. Why is the foam so much better? How, or why are the bubbles so small in, in these uh, uh, bottles? I think it's really important how you actually, you can say, put pressure on your tank. Of course, the beer should be as cold as possible and then you slowly increase the pressure to actually push uh, CO2 into the beer. So you create these, what I call nano bubbles, really tiny bottles, bubbles, so that will actually give you a very nice uh, soft Pilsner or lager in the final beer. So I'm sure that if you do spunding, do it slow and keep doing it because I believe that you will actually create a better beer with soft bubbles and better mouthfeel. People often ask me, how do we, why the foam, why is the foam better? Why are the bubbles nicer in certain types of product? And I have written about the physics of foaming and the factors you influence the size of bubbles when, when they're produced. And certainly if you pour a beer into gla these nucleating glasses, the smaller the size of the nucleation or even the scratch, the smaller the bubble is going to be. It's something like a, a bottle conditioned beer, why the bubbles can be smaller. But I think the other potential effect of, of the spunding, the yeast is not finished doing its job and the, that you're introducing, the top pressure you're going to be introducing, is going to be influencing the flavor in other ways as well. It, it, it certainly could be influencing some of the, the volatile compounds that are, are being produced. Well, basically, the, the higher the pressure during a fermentation, then you're going to suppress the production of certain types of volatiles, including the esters. So it, it depends entirely. It's, but if you're taking advantage of still active yeast to produce, uh, to increase the, uh, the level of carbonation, then if that yeast is still active, then it still may be, you, you still will be influencing the production of volatiles and you'd be suppressing the, the production of certain types of volatile material. Now, this was just one clip from the entire replay. So I'm posting the full replay link right up here in the screen and in the description. And please don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what your top takeaway was. A like is always appreciated too.